Bless this assembly, precious Lord, and may you be honored as we celebrate a life that glorified you. God, as we come to celebrate Jim's life, we all still mourn our loss. We ask you to cover his family and friends who come here today with your wings of love. Give them courage so that they can stand before us and share the fond memories they have of my brother, our father, our son, our grandfather, and good friend. Father, it has been such a big blow to us as Jim's family and friends, but you are our strength and our strong tower. We know that you love us so much and that you will take care of our needs. Lord, fill the gap that has been left in our hearts and give us the courage to face each day without him. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So I went and I dug a big trench between the house next door and the house where I live. And I planted 40 daffodil bulbs. And they came up in the spring and I told Jackie that when they come up, the neighborhood will be thinking of Jim. The flowers came up and it was glorious. So next spring, if you go down the 500 block in South State Street, I'm sure they're gonna come up again and again and again, and we'll all have happy memories of Jim and his family. Uh, I just want to uh, add my uh, comments to a very special individual that we're uh, celebrating today and remembering a very wonderful individual. Uh, as everybody knows, he was a huge fan of the Wizard of Oz. He could do uh, all three uh, characters from that, the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, but you haven't lived until you heard him do the line. And uh, just a little bit, you would ask him a question, what if you met a hippopotamus? I'd knock him from top to bottomless. And I don't do Jim justice, but um, we certainly miss his wonderful laugh and uh, I still think about him often.